The extracellular matrix, or ECM, serves diverse functions and is a major component of the cellular microenvironment. The ECM is a highly dynamic structure, constantly undergoing a remodeling process, where ECM components are deposited, degraded, or otherwise modified. ECM remodeling is an important mechanism whereby cell differentiation can be regulated, including processes such as the establishment and maintenance of stem cell niches, branching morphogenesis, angiogenesis, bone remodeling, and wound repair. In contrast, abnormal ECM dynamics lead to deregulated cell proliferation and invasion, failure of cell death, and loss of cell differentiation, resulting in congenital defects and pathological processes including tissue fibrosis and cancer. Matrix degradation in humans is primarily a result of an enzyme family called matrix metalloproteinases, or MMPs, which catalyze cleavage of proteoglycans and collagen, among others. The minimal consensus domain architecture of MMPs comprises a signal peptide, a 60 to 90 residue globular prodomain with a conserved sequence motif, including a cysteine engaged and cysteine switched, and a catalytic domain. In healthy tissue, matrix remodeling is strictly regulated so that matrix degradation does not occur at a higher rate than the synthesis of new ECM molecules. One way to do this is through alterations in the localized concentrations of inhibitors of the MMPs, tissue inhibitors of metalloproteinases, or TIMPs, effectively controlling the breakdown of extracellular matrix components involved in various kinds of important biological phenomena and pathological events such as inflammation and tumor invasion. Structural studies of TIMP MMP complexes have elucidated the inhibition mechanism of TIMPs and the multiple sites through which they interact with target enzymes allowing the generation of TIMP variants that selectively inhibit different groups of metalloproteinases. The human genome contains four paralogous genes encoding TIMPs 1 through 4, based on which family of MMPs they inhibit. TIMP 3 is unique and interesting because it inhibits ADAM17, metallopeptidase domain 17, or TACE, which stands for tumor necrosis factor alpha-converting enzyme. This enzyme is thought to be involved in the processing of tumor necrosis factor alpha, or TNF, at the surface of the cell and from which the intracellular membranes of the trans-Golgi network. ADAM17 is understood to play a role in the release of a plethora of membrane-anchored cytokines, cell adhesion molecules, receptors, ligands, and enzymes. Shown here is a down-regulated ADAM17 molecule, since its enzymatic activity is poorly understood. This structure acquired by researchers using X-ray diffraction techniques depicts the TACE N TIMP3 complex. The N represents the N-terminal domain of TIMP3. There is another 3D structure of the TIMP3 domain inhibiting the TACE molecule. This is the N-terminal domain of the TIMP3 and this is the TACE molecule that the TIMP3 is inhibiting. This structure shows that TIMP3 exhibits a fold that interacts through its functional binding domain edge consisting of the N-terminal segment and other loops with the active cleft site of TACE in a manner similar to that of MMPs. The PHE34 phenyl side chain situated at the tip of the SASB loop of the TIMP3 shown right here extends into a unique hydrophobic groove of the TACE surface. These two leucine residues in the adjacent SC connector and SESF loops are tightly packed in the interface. These loops are, are simply hairpin loops which facilitate favorable interactions and the flexibility of TIMP3. These characteristics make TIMP3 an, an efficient inhibitor. We can also see the alpha helices and the beta strands in this structure. For example, this is an alpha helice, this is an alpha helice, and this one is an alpha, alpha helice. Um, in addition, the SASB loop right here is a beta strand and the SESF connector is a beta strand. Macular dystrophy is a relatively rare genetic eye condition and is an important cause of incurable blindness. The molecular defects may clue in on more common diseases such as age-related macular degeneration. Soresby's fundus dystrophy is an autosomal dominant macular dystrophy in which the TIMP3 gene has been mutated. 
Clinically, early mid-peripheral drusen and color vision deficits are found in patients with SFD. Some patients complain of night blindness. However, most commonly, the preceding symptom is sudden acuity loss, which manifests at around the age of 30 to 40. This is due to untreatable submacular neovascularization. Histologically, accumulation of confluent lipid-containing material occurs resulting in an elevated 30 micrometers thick at the level of the Brux membrane. This elevated drusen and the increase in the Brux membrane thickness is caused because the ECM has been degraded uncontrollably since the mutated TIM3 is non-functional. Engineering such variants is complicated because TIMPs can undergo changes in molecular dynamics induced by their interactions with proteases. TIMPs also have biological activities that are independent of metalloproteinases. These include effects on cell growth and differentiation, cell migration, anti-angiogenesis, anti pro apoptosis and synaptic plasticity. Understanding the mechanisms of ECM remodeling and its regulation, therefore, is essential for developing new therapeutic interventions for diseases and novel strategies for tissue engineering and regenerative medicine. However, most commonly the preceding symptom is sudden acuity. Acu acuity? Oh god, okay. I need where's Google? I can't I can't speak anymore. TIM3 is unique and interesting because it inhibits ADAM metallopeptidome peptidase 7 Oh, I forgot the number 2. On to I don't even know what take we're on anymore.